so somebody told me that some time back i made some videos on untold secrets of some houses the second house the fourth house and there's already a video on the seventh house also but can you also make a video on the fifth house we were amazed by those videos many new things we came to know which we had not known before so what about the fifth house and then i was like yes we need to make it because fifth house is the most important house of the horoscope it is not the ninth house it is actually the fifth house so today we will discuss what are some of the things which people do not know about the fifth house in general although they know it but what's the reason behind the fifth house for example they say fifth house is the house of love is the house of children it's the house of creativity fun etc but the reason is why why do they say that and what actually is the fifth house all right so today we will discuss in short about that and if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me regarding your fifth house or any other area of your life then you could go down to my website to book a reading you will find the link in the description section below and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and today you will know the value of this statement all right so before i speak about the fifth house now sometimes people say that oh whatever you say in your videos uh in any video it doesn't match with my horoscope well use some basic common sense this is a general video for the 7 billion people out there so every person is different and everybody has their individual horoscope you will have some planets in the fifth house some of them will be exalted debilitated afflicted with malefics in dustanas or in great dignity so depending on that it will vary all right but today suppose a layman he doesn't know anything about astrology and suddenly he sees that there is a house called the fifth house and he's clueless what this house is so the question is how will he know that how is the fifth house what's the situation of the fifth lord and suppose he doesn't know anything about astrology so then how will you know well very simple just ask this question to yourself fifth house is the reason why you get up in the morning so ask this question to yourself how do you feel when you just get up in the morning because fifth house is the house of motivation as they say it is not the house of inspiration inspiration and motivation are complementary but they are different things the ninth house is the house of inspiration because it's the sign of sagittarius it's the divine ninth house is the sign of god so unless you have an inspiration in life you cannot have motivation in life now of course you can have it doesn't mean that you need to have some inspiration always but the more you have inspiration the more you have motivation in life so therefore people say that oh i don't have motivation in life to do this to do that that means you do not have inspiration for that goal so now what's the fifth house the fifth house will tell you exactly that which you think when you get up in the morning what is that first thought when you come into consciousness well you are always in consciousness but when you get up in the morning what is that one click which suddenly comes <laughs> something suddenly pops up in your head try this tomorrow or maybe you could try this today in the day so what is that one thing do you think about a person do you think about your job do you think about your passion or do you think about some what is that and how do you feel about it do you feel good you feel okay you feel nice you feel terrible you feel miserable or you you start jumping or you start crying how much do you want to do that which you think about the first thought in the morning so that will tell you what's the situation of your fifth house and the next thing is what is that thing that you think about when you are just about to sleep and also you can know how your fifth house is by seeing what you do during the first one hour of your day yes this is very important 
there are many studies which have shown this and even in the scriptures this principle is illustrated again and again and again and again and again and again that the first hours of your day should be used for spiritual practices so if the first thing that you do by getting up in the morning is you check your mobile you check your facebook or your whatsapp or anything else in youtube apart from spiritual stuff then you have to understand that there is a serious issue with your fifth house because it's like saying because see social media is what basically in in essence social media is pretending to everybody else that your life is the most perfect it's not perfect it's the most perfect <laughs> that's what social media is uh, putting uh, photos after lot of filters yes putting smileys when their hearts are crying and their souls are dying even when then they put smileys like that and then you go on seeing them and then you feel oh everybody else is so happy right except me <laughs> so if that is the first thing that you do in when you get up in the morning then there is a serious serious issue with the fifth house but if there is something which you look up to in life someone or somebody or something it can be any goal or any book or anything else then you know the fifth house is very good in your case and now the question is how to improve the situation of the fifth house suppose your fifth house is damaged you don't feel like getting up you feel miserable you feel you feel totally disgusted when you get up you don't want to live there are many people who say that we don't want to live what to do we are not happy this is not there. that is not there oh, then what to do well use the first hours of your day for spiritual practices that is the best thing that you can do it doesn't matter if you get up at 10 o'clock or you get up at 8 or you get up at 7 6 5 or 4 some people get up at 3 also by that what will happen your beginning hours which are the most big powerful hours because they that is the time when your efficiency is at the peak now of course for some people for different people your efficiency uh, can be diff- can be at the peak during different times it's not necessary that it's only in the morning but generally those hours are th- the hours where you can put maximum of your efforts now you may not feel like doing but that is the time your energy is at the peak so the best thing to do is as soon as you get up instead of checking your phone or you could check your phone but you could play some some bhajan or some kirtan or some shlokas or you can play the vishnu sahasranam i know people who as soon as they get up in fact their alarm is the vishnu sahasranam and then what happens they will take the brush and you know they will do uh, brush their teeth and then they will take bath and by that the entire 30 minutes of vishnu sahasranam is over so if you can do that then that is like that will change your entire world i know many people who do that and they are amazing people <laughs> amazing doesn't mean that they are very good or externally they are very prosperous but their inherent disposition inside is fantastic so that is one thing that you can do and you can also uh, read shlokas from the shrimad bhagavatam from the bhagavad gita you can read and you can chant mantras that's very 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 important that's very potent and you can also watch spiritual videos so if we do that in the morning then that will improve our fifth house otherwise we will lack motivation in life and remember what i was telling you in the beginning motivation comes when there is inspiration so that is why when you read these scriptures you will find many inspiring characters if you read shrimad bhagavatam you will find characters like dhruva maharaj who was such an extraordinary personality to whom lord vishnu personally appeared and giving so many blessings if you know then write it in the comments what are the blessings that lord vishnu bestowed to him and they are not just material blessings they are material and spiritual then you will find 
the story of Maharaj Nimi. Long, long, long back in the last pages of Srimad Bhagavatam, you will find. Then he meets the Nava Yogendras. Maharaj Nimi, he meets. And then the amazing talks there. Then you have characters like the 12 Mahajans. You have Bhishma Pitama, Swambhu, Narada, Shambhu, Kumaro, Kapilo, Manu, Prahlado, Janako, Bhishma, Balirvaya, Sakhi, Vayam. You have Bali Maharaj, you have Prahlad Maharaj, 7th Canto, 5th Canto, 6th Canto. Wow, fantastic. So when you read this Srimad Bhagavatam specifically, then your life will change. Then you will automatically be motivated. You don't have to uh, see motivational videos. You don't have to see inspirational talks in YouTube. You can see that. It's not prohibited. But you will not feel the need for all these, these stuff. Many people tell me that, oh, why don't you make uh, motivational videos? Well, the highest level of motivation is there in the Srimad Bhagavatam. We have the story of Ambarish Maharaj, who, who was, uh, was such a great personality. But Durvas Muni once got angry with him and then he created a demon to kill him. And even in that state, he was not angry on Durvas Muni. Well, that's a long story cut short. And then, of course, Lord Vishnu had sent the Sudarshan Chakra and then Durvas Muni was running in the entire universe. And then at the end, when he went to Lord Vishnu and he said that, Oh, Lord Vishnu, please <laughs> protect me from your Sudarshan. You know, it's going to kill me. And then Lord Vishnu said, I can't do anything. You have offended a great soul like Ambarish Maharaj. Unless he forgives you, the Sudarshan will not spare you. And then Durvasmani goes and falls at the feet of Ambarish Maharaj. And they say that Ambarish Maharaj was such a great personality that he prayed to the Sudarshan Chakra that please forgive this great soul. Yes, can you imagine? The person who wants to kill you, he is telling that he is a great soul, please forgive him. And the Bhagavatam says that his Prayers were so intense, Ambarish Maharaj. He was praying for his worst enemy. Can you believe it? His prayers were so intense, so powerful, so it was so deep that it is said the Sudarshan Chakra became powerless and it disappeared. Can you believe it? That weapon which is like the origin of all the power in the entire universe, the Sudarshan Chakra, that that became powerless it became useless it became helpless that was the strength of his powers can you believe it somebody praying like that for a person who wants to kill you easier said than done right and instead if you just what open facebook you know if you open debate shows in the morning if you read the news okay this political party did this the government this the opposition did this this happened that happened which cricketer got married to which film star? Yes. It's not going to do justice to your consciousness. Alright. So, if you want to improve the fifth house, there has to be a paradigm shift in your consciousness. Unless you do that by reading the scriptures. And yes, in the weekends, you should always go and visit spiritual centers. Remember, I said ninth house is the house of inspiration. So, you must have somebody who inspires you in life. That can be anybody. That can be your father or mother or sister or brother. Or it's best if some guru is there in your life. Till the time that is not there, everything else will be at the superficial level. And you should go and form friendships within the spiritual community. And when you do that, then you will know that life can be self-motivating also sometimes. Self-motivating doesn't mean that you tell yourself, you know, oh, I'll be motivated. That's artificial. It doesn't work like that. It means that you read the scriptures and by that, you know, you understand that if they can behave like this, then I can at least try <laughs> my best. Otherwise, all the time you have to keep seeing motivational quotes, you know, like there are quotes in YouTube, which say in the internet, which says, you know, yes, you can do it. Just do it. Do this, do that. Oh. It's fine. It's great to see all those. But the base has to be there. Once the base is established, 
then you can see thousand motivational videos then you can read thousand quotes on motivation then they will work that is why the fifth house is very important because it's the it's the atma basically that's the soul because the original sign number five is leo it's full of dynamism it's the sun actually so when you say there's a problem in the fifth house it essentially means that there's a problem with your sun and we all know who is the karaka for the fifth house it's jupiter of course so when you do spiritual practices then the fifth house definitely will improve and by that you will see that every morning you are very enthusiastic when you get up you will jump off the bed yes today i will do something but if you are doing activities which take you away from god away from spirituality then you will feel that the fifth house is like a burden that is what happens many people they get up you know endlessly surfing facebook for the first i know people for the first 20 minutes in the bed only they are surfing like this my god that's an epic disaster so let's put good things in the consciousness the first 3 hours or the first hour at least 1 hour just try this from tomorrow first 1 hour do not use social media or do not engage into watching the news or you know gossip or unnecessary garbage what is happening and do spiritual activities in the first hour of the day and then you see how you behave in the remaining 23 hours your work efficiency will increase 1000 billion times i am telling you try this <laughs> you feel that your boss doesn't give you promotion <laughs> now he's going to call you and tell you that hey <laughs> this is for you this is your promotion you don't have to keep asking him or maybe some other company gives you some offer or maybe you start your own business your own entrepreneurship your own youtube channel or you start writing a book or you go to haridwar <laughs> either of this will happen all right your life will become very dynamic all the garbage will go out you will only see good in people one of the symptoms of a damaged fifth house is you are very expert in finding faults all right so if you have good things then you can see good if there is garbage inside then garbage out always remember gigo principle garbage in garbage out so the take away point from this video hopefully is that the first hour of your day is the most important hour and that decides how will be the rest 23 hours and that decides what will be your fifth house and we all know what the fifth house is is the house of children right so if your first hour is not good then your children will also be born who will also be having problems in their fifth house and they will also misutilize their first hour of the day enough <laughs> all right so that is what i wanted to share regarding the fifth house it's the most important house of the horoscope okay so let us work towards improving the fifth house by utilizing the first hour of our day very well not by wasting it by doing unnecessary things all right and then we see that our overall life improves and i know after seeing this video if you just do this then within 7 days i am giving you guarantee you will mail me that your life has changed i keep getting mails every day like that that by seeing your videos i have left meat i have left this i have started this that well i am very happy with that i want to see more of that <laughs> all right so i am waiting let me see how many of you will message me in 7 days so now is the third week of april so i am waiting maybe <laughs> till first may or first week of may i get some mail that hey i saw that fifth house video and i did <laughs> otherwise what is the use of making videos there's no use it's useless if nobody is applying it to their lives but i am very happy that at least some of them are and i hope that many people will also take the first hour of their life seriously all right thank you very much and if you want a consultation from me regarding your fifth house or anything in general then you could go down to my website below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share with some with somebody who wants motivation who wants to uh become a better human being then they will know what this is all right and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him